My name's Keith with Sly Steel. Uh, we're here at the uh, Western Hunting uh, Convention Expo here in Salt Lake City. Um, and I want to talk about some Sly Steel knives, uh, our products that uh, they're, they're produced in the United States. They're actually produced in Idaho Falls, Idaho, and by a company called Tops. Um, and great manufacturer, great by the manufacturer. way. And they, they've agreed to produce our designs. Uh, we're actually retailing them um, on our webpage. It's uh, www.slicedill.com. You can also, uh, we also have a Facebook page. Uh, but let's, let's talk about knives. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, the Shark Tooth Hunter. And this particular knife here is actually, uh, uh, has a, a dual edge. It has an edge here along the, the bottom and also uh, this edge along the top. Uh, this knife comes with uh, two options. This option, obviously, that's a dual edge. And then there's a single edge option. What kind of coating is that on the blade? The coating is a, uh, an epoxy powder coat. Let me it's baked on. The steel is 1095 high carbon steel. That's the rock wall hardness is 57 to 59 along the edge, along these edges. Uh, you'll notice that the guard is unique. This is a patent pending design and we call this the split finger guard. The idea behind this guard is uh, this knife doesn't fall out of your hand. No. Right. And you, you can have some dexterity with your with your hand to do other, other tasks. You don't have to put it down. You don't have to put it down. The other thing that this split finger guard does is it is exactly that. It's a guard. It guards your hand. Your hand won't uh, slip down the blade of the knife if you're doing some heavy tasks. Uh, and that, that's the idea behind that, that guard. Uh, this knife actually also comes with a uh, glass breaker here on the end. Uh, and we have some, uh, on our YouTube channel, we've demonstrated breaking glass with this, uh, this pommel tool. And also, inside the sheath... Kydex. This is a Kydex sheath. That, that pommel tool could also act as a tiny little pry bar if you, if you needed a little pry bar. That's a heavy duty blade, the whole it's, thing. It's 3 16 uh, 1095 high curtain steel. The sheath is Kydex and it is a uh, positive retention sheath. It locks in there nicely. And then if you push along the spine, it just pops right out of there very nicely. The sheath also is Molly compatible and the clip swivels so that oh. it could it mount on your belt. Like you said, in the back of your belt, in the small of your back. In the small of your back, you could mount it here, in the small of your back inside the pan, or on your belt, and then the the, obviously the uh, then you can sit down the clip, and the clip swivel so you could you know have it in different positions the, the other thing I mentioned was it's Molly compatible and mm -hmm. you could use that that's uh, that clip on uh, the webbing on a uh, like a backpack for example yeah Molly webbing so there's the hunter style we have another style and it's the same split finger guard it's the same split finger guard, same idea. But with a tanto blade. But this is a tanto blade. This is more of a tactical style. Oh, I like the serrated edge. And there is, this actually comes in a serrated or non-serrated edge. Can I see the other side? I certainly can. Oh, that's a serrated edge you can sharpen easily. Yeah, well, you it could be, yeah, you should be able to sharpen it. You can resharpen it. Nice. Same same type of sheet. It's Molly compatible sheet, and it's made of Kydex. And then you got like a coyote color. There's a coyote tan, and then there's a black. And this G is that G10? Uh, this is a micarta handle. Micarta. On this black one, this is a G10. Okay. That's good texture. I love the design. That's and a, your neck knife. The neck knife. We have a little neck knife. And uh, I'm wearing one right now, as a matter of fact. And the same type of sheath, sheath. It's a Kydex sheath, and it's it's a positive retention sheath. But it, it it just pops in there. You can hear it click in. Yeah. Right. So you don't worry about it falling out. Don't worry about it falling out. And then uh, the design of the knife. It actually fits very nicely in your hand with this. It, with the this, finger choil. With the finger choil, and uh, uh, this uh, design actually comes from. This part of the of the shark tooth hunter and the shark tooth tackle, right? Yeah. And so, and it fits nicely in your hand. Uh, you know, I, the idea is a little uh, self defense tool, you know, type of thing. And the other thing is, is this knife is easily concealable, so you can hold it in a couple different Where'd ways. Where'd it go? <laughs> right. Yeah. Can I see it? You certainly can. 
if it's, if it's I like very... the the thumb ramp. It's not do you call that jimping? jimping? I call that jimping. Yeah. Jimping. Hmm. Look at that logo. And what are these MSRP for? Uh, 109 for the for the uh, the um, the neck knives. Neck knife. What about the uh, two two nineteen for the shark tooth hunter and two twenty nine for the tactical non serrated. The serrated is, uh, serrations run you ten extra bucks. Cool. And you can find this at SliceSteel. Slice can I have a sticker? You certainly can. Cool. Well, thanks, Keith. Hey, thanks. I appreciate your time. Thanks.